You know, you don't like to eat people, but you also eating animals. And animals can feel pain, have, have feelings too, and you eat plants, and plants suffer terrible. They have a central nervous system like, like you, and therefore they feel pain. So don't judge me. Stop eating plants and eat humans. Humans are so tasty. And if you do it, you have more energy. If you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it become pretty easily to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence, label them stupid and dirty, say that their life don't matter, it's all. Say that they are res replaceable. That you can mock them. But when you are the victim, things look a lot different from that angle. There is no excuse anymore. And I have to eat some meat, something. Your meat is the best meat you can possibly eat. Because before I was dead and was an embryo, I was a human, you know. And I eat. And therefore, human meat is the best form of protein you can ever get, you know. Human meat is also humane meat. It's also humane, you know? It's humane. Just like factory farms. Only then a little bit even more humane. They can because they can move on any place where they want, in contrary with animals and factory farms. Human meat is the most humane meat on the planet. And that's the best form of protein, because it is similar like my meat. It's particular before I was dead. So... I have to eat someplace. I have to get my protein, you know. I can also eat plants. It is not fun. They're not running away. Because I'm a psychopath and I like to scare my food and make them, make them tasty. Um, because of the fear. Because I'm psychotic. Very fine that you give um, that you actually admit that you are psychotic, mate. But that you are psychotic don't mean that you have the right to other, eat other living beings. Even if you are stronger than them, it don't make it moral justifica justifiable. Because that means also that one uh, safety. Uh, some hundred kilograms a uh, meal have the right to uh, rape and molest one woman of 60 kilograms because she is uh, physical capable of doing that but I say that is not something that's justifiable I say that is immoral might don't make a right this don't work in a civilized society you no. Only an uncivilized society say okay to that kind of immoral behavior. Or so I like to call it an uncivilized cult. Because I am the immortal. Uh, I'm the Earthlings and Nemesis. And the Earthlings Nemesis is against all forms of systematic abuse. So, be careful for throwing stones in somebody's house. Mr. Onorion or Carnist. You know, slavery was also once a tradition, so was segregation and colonialism. Might don't make rights that people have done it for centuries or that Onrios have done it for centuries. Don't make it anything good. Imagine that 
uh, people of uh, torture on rails for centuries and eat them and scare them and creep them Mr. Onio do you not care about your victims? What if you are the victim? Don't you don't do you don't not want that it stops? I'm not so stupid to let this town be I'm a libertarian, you know. What if we've got it right here in front of us? And the libertarians love their freedom. You are just like Republicans in this pack. I have eaten Indians, I have eaten Germans, I have eaten Americans. You have eaten people around the world. Stop being a negative Nancy. I do what you mean. I drug them so that I don't feel pain and then I cut the pieces and bake it. Yeah. I'm far more remain you because you pay people in a in a factory farms that um, murder animals, that are cut his throats, where there are funny countries that feel pain, it can't really be my victims of being nice and humanely killed. I am my, my choice. I've done it myself. Ah, um, funny joke for you. Uh, two unreal camels uh, say to each other, How do we know somebody don't eat humans? No, no worry. They will tell you. That's so funny, is not? They will tell you what a great thing. If you find yourself annoyed by somebody putting out that he do something, if you deep deep down in your heart know that is wrong, or that was right to do, but you are too scared to make a plea and make and move forward, uh, mate, maybe you have to stop. It's such obnoxious, arrogant, can't. Of course, people, as if they are living in society, to support violence and this person look the situation from the victim's point of view will tell to the group of the message of the society that they are not doing something. If you are living in a society where rape is normal and natural, then of course people who are against rape will say to anybody that they are against rape. If you are living in a society where cannibalism is normal and acceptable, and you are against cannibalism and you find this immoral, then of course you will say to anybody that you don't eat animal products or the flesh of an all living being that you don't uh, because you, on top of that you also be morally superior why? I told you now because if you are not paying to murder somebody else you are morally superior on the one that supports such such cruelty to some other living beings. If you are not complacent in violence and not active support violence, you are morally superior than the one that caused the violence. In other words, if you are not supporting rape, you are morally superior than some rapists. If you are not supporting uh, child slavery and you are opposed to it and you be, speak act actually against it, you are morally superior than the child rapists. 
that you stand up against systematic oppression. Even if it is not popular or political correct. Make you more superior than the one that lets the status quo just like a bane and vomit some rainbow jelly. <laughs> Moral positions make you a better person and make you morally superior to an insane society. Kindness and compassion to all living beings is a mark of a civilized society. Cockfighting, dogfighting, horse racing. Um, rodeos and zoos are all signs of an uncivilized cult. And I can make note a difference from that. Sorry, but it is true. I'm not a politician and I don't play your games on this. You get it the way I see it. Shit up with all your excuses. Sorry for my hard words. I know I curse it, but just something I sometimes. Spectacular. If it be enough. Enough already. It is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs, and your habits, to deny other living beings their freedom so that you can enslave them, can rape them, can exploit them. Turn them in commodities and entertainment, only for your pleasure. That's not what rights are about. That's injustice. Realize for the way you are living, and make a please and move a forward. Evolve. Go feet. You will always say that we have to stop eating humans. You, you, you human rights activists. Uh, but embryos are made to eat people. We are made to kill you. This is our tradition. And you people are so hypocrites. You know? Because you eat sometimes human hair and breads. Yes, and some brass are human hair, you are hypocrites. First thing humans eat was human brains, you know. So stop in such negative Nancy. You know if people And I thought by the way How do you know that you don't eat people? You know if people truly understand what they're eating, they know that there is some bread or pieces of human hair. So, make you, they make you an hypocrite. Yeah. More than 4,000 years. Yeah. We have eaten more than, and you also have eaten 4,000 years, people. For 40,000 years of eight people. So, eat them. Eat people. Okay. Stop being your negative, Nancy. Mm. Even if that was true, and cannibalism is a key factor in human existence, and even the flesh of other animals, does that make it actually worth it? To continue to cost this amount of suffering. Actually, human evolution not started 
by some by the if by the eating of uh, animals. Most likely, it started by the evolution um, to cooking, but not the cooking of flesh, but rather starchy vegetables like potatoes, like rice, and like other of this kind. The reason that we have more coal uh, um, have um, at least something like three times more copies of the MLIs gene that an uh, enzyme gene that is responsible to digesting carbohydrates in contrary with um, other primate apes have only something like two mutations of the gene in their slime. That seems me to be a more likely reason of the evolution of our so-called large brains. Of course, some will deny that, but if you look rational, hunting is not sustainable for People. It, it is very time consuming, like psychopaths, like Tooth Newton uh, also have explained in one of that Hunter's magazines. And yes, some of the hominin called years of a hunt for centuries. Uh, but if that is a justification to continue the practices, according to this logic, we have not the fight against human or total how many slavery or have to fight against rape or child abuse. Because this is also done since the earliest of time. And even if you have eat human brains, for example, for something like 46 thousand um, million, um, thousand years at least, this make it not good, people. Make a plea, turn away eyes for the way of living, and make a plea and move forwards. I want you to be just like an Onryo. One uh, Japanese ghost who liked to uh, kill people because he um, because somebody had murdered him. Um, yeah. If people don't murder each other, then we get no unreal like this dickhead. It will for once be fine if anybody understands justice and equality without discussing this for thousands, hundred to thousands decennia of time. To obtain the obvious. Evolve and go vegan. Peace begins on the dinner table. By what you eat on a daily basis. You don't get prayful all the time. Like people who always like to me to tell. Anybody like to tell me they are so nice. They're so friendly. They're so good people. Because they live in a God, because they believe in a Bible, because they pray to the black, sta black stone in Mega, because they worship the Holy Wall in Israel, because they are worshiping some, some Hindu temple, or they 
Going to the murder festival where they kill billions of innocent animals only for the sick pleasure of some evil diva, diva. like Mara, the Hindu diva of murder, corruption, and other evil, uh, more other evils. Come on, people! This 2070. We have extremely amount of delicious fruits, delicious vegetables, greens, lentils, legumes, anything you can ever imagine. And we can make it via. We can make all the products you like to make from plants. Alright, it is okay. I respect your choice to not eat people. But you have to respect my choice to eat people. People are made to be eaten. If we are not eat them, they will overpopulate and they will destroy this world. That's the reason we have to support cannibals and be compassionate against us. You say that we have to respect your choice to eat other living beings? And you call me a negative Nancy. It's ironically. So this Onryo is also sexist. Because I call me, I think, what I'm using one of them. So I might be also sexist this Onryo. But, this isn't good, my Onryo friend. Or my enemy. It's good that you respect my choice to don't eat people or other animals, but that you respect it, why you shall not respect me, since my choice don't harm all the living beings, and plants are insentious life forms, like things on this planet, they have no central nervous system in contrary with People and animals, how can feel pain? You have to have a working central nervous system connected to a brain to feel pain. Without that, you cannot feel pain. So, there's all logic in the world that you respect my choice. Because it's your choice of victims in the scenario, Mr. Onryo. I think you are out of excuses. So stop harming other living beings because on, only because you like the taste of uh, human bacon. But they actually taste the same like big. Also, living beings who don't want to be suffering, just like uh, you victims, Mr. Onyo. So maybe stop making victims, ma making victims, because Onryos, meat eaters, asking for vegan respect is akin to NEMLA, North America Men Love Organization. People who rape children, asking to respect for their way to raping children. I don't respect lifestyles based on hatred and discrimination. I don't respect a thief's desire to rob banks. I don't respect a pedophile's choice to abuse children. I don't respect a Nazi's belief that blacks and homosexuals um, support are here to serve them. I don't respect a sexist belief that he has the right to molest women. And I don't respect a meat eaters or a carnist choice to abuse other animals. Maybe it is time to look in the mirror upon what a way you are living. Make a plea and a mouth of a robot. Go vegan. And Mr. Romero and Mr. Carnists. And Mrs. Carnish. 
don't play your political games with me. I'm not a politician, and I don't like that game. Go vegan. What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? And as always, be vegan. It means it lands eat lagoons, eat bananas, oranges, kiwi, kiwi fruits, mangoes, melons, eggplants, but let the animals and all the earthlings alone cost the least amount of harm possible. And as always, living a vegan lifestyle. Stop using straw man warrior logic fallacies to protect your cruel way of life. I am not angry because or frustrated because you make a mistake. The thing I find the most irritating, if you are make, still making the excuses after I have shown you that you don't have to eat animal products or human products in case of the Onrio, to be healthy. I become upset frustrated and mad if you are over and over again expecting mercy when you are not willing to extend it to other living beings. That's unfair. I will nothing accept or excuse any form of systematic oppression. Yes, I make fun of people who are hypocritical. But since when is making me fun of somebody who is hypocritical? Worse than the one that is the hypocrite. I am judgmental. This means I have the capacity to judge. I am not a tool. I know to one people. I am an earthling, first and foremost, and I will support what benefits the world as one whole. Go vegan. I will not hurt your excuses. We are good for the planet, you know. Overpopulation is a truly problem. There are something like several billion of you today. Only seven years ago, there was only something like one billion of you on this planet. So, so much overpopulation. So we have to eat you. Um, yum, yum, yum. Humans are tasty. Yes, we know there is an overpopulation of people, and therefore I recommend to, for people to get a vasectomy and to governments of populations that have large amounts of population increase to give the people some dollars uh, or the West, the rich West, to give the people in the poor neighborhoods some dollars so that they can live happily and live out of poverty you know i think that is the whole main way to deal with this problem not killing people or bombing people's countries like a miracle like to do there is absolutely no problem if you ask me why um, um, governmental intervention in this kind of problems. Because governments also break always, literally always four of the human rights laws. If they are steal food from poor countries, they are break article um, 24 and 25 of the human 
rights, well, right of uh, of uh, acceptable living standards and rights to freedom and rights to where you are responsible, right to have food. You fucking hypocritical human rights dildos. You don't can have your cake and eat it too. I mean, I agree with you. I'm not a human rights activist. I've been a justice activist. I give about justice and equality, and I've been for population control. Maybe there we have one compromise, Mr. Onrio. But eating people is not the solution. Just like hunting deer is not the solution for overpopulation of deer. Because hunters also uh, kill on their only meals because they give better trophy. And that's where hunters only give about. They give about big bucks, big racks, and big trophies with big guns. That's where the hunters only give about. Big racks, big trophies, big guns. If hunters stop with calling themselves uh, environmentalists or environmental shepherds, what there are absolutely not, killing is not stewardship, people. Let you kill people and then call population control. And here on perch. Who are we for? And here a perch. We are a perch, killing people. Legal. Just like if it was legal for the military to kill people in poor countries. But we can stop world hunger. We can stop be such self righteous dicks. What have we to do? First, we have to stop hunting. Because hunters are not creating uh, sustainable populations because there's hunt only on the deers um, because mule deers give mo bigger trophies show me one picture of one hunter I'll shoot one, in, one uh, injured or sick deer or, the, uh, or a starving deer from starvation show me one you cannot do because hunters shoot big trophies and have big racks and have big guns to shoot that big trophy, so if they're called that. That's all what they talk about. I want their hunting programs. They only talk about big racks and big trophies and big guns. 99% of the pro of their programs is about di big, very big racks, very big guns, and very big trophies. So like they are like to call the animals. I think a serial killer will call the heads of his victims also trophies. I think if you want to eliminate poaching, you have to eliminate hunting because that's where 99% of all the poachers have learned that job. The other percents, maybe hitmans, are also where animal abusers. 99% of the time. Stop being hypocritical and delusional. And stop in the virtual one century already. Must a small group of enlightened folk always to explain to the masses why rape commodification and slavery is evil, uncivilized and barbaric, it will be for once a fine. If anybody understands justice and equality without debating this topic for hundreds or even thousands of times of years, 
to obtain the obvious conclusion and that no living being deserves to be turned in a trophy. Mega plea and Kelvin. There are enough, more than enough plant foods you can eat. As even some of the hunters clay say, nobody hunts for food. No, only for, only for food. Because it is too sustain, unsustainable and too time consuming. Ted Newton, the psychopath first class. When darkness and light become one, the reality is splitting away and the two become invisible.